Hello guys, welcome to the series of videos uh, on Dart programming language which is uh, the main programming language used by Flutter, a mobile app and uh, other uh, web application development tool released by Google. So coming to Dart, uh, Dart is an open source language released by Google and now it is the standard approved by ECMA and dart supports uh, uh, both for the browser and also to run on the server also directly so to begin with development on dart we need to download dart sdk it is shipped with the compiler also called as dart vm the sdk also includes a utility dart to js uh, this is a transpiler that generates javascript equivalent of uh, dart script so in this series of videos uh, i will be providing you basic knowledge on dart language later you will uh, in in my other series you can uh, uh, go on with uh, flutter so coming to the audience who can listen to this videos are uh, uh, can be anyone we don't need any prerequisite knowledge but a basic computer knowledge is good enough and uh, dart syntax is almost similar to c language so if you uh, know c language it's a additional add-on but you don't need to be an expert on that because anyway i'm going to cover all those uh, concepts here also So, to execute uh, the Dart programs, you can do it online uh, by Dart Pad Dart Dart Lang Dart Org. You can directly write your scripts left side, and when you click on Run. It will execute this script and it will show the sample output right side. So other than this online tool, you can set up a local environment also. You can write your programs in either Notepad or Vim Editor or VI Editor or Notepad++ whichever you want. And you can uh, compile them using Dart SDK. In the next series of videos, I will show you more advanced ideas also let's uh, begin by installing dart sdk for that purpose i have spinned up a azure vm i took it on subscription basis and this is the vm i have installed google chrome on that just uh, and type dart SDK scroll down. Uh, the simplest option is to install with uh, chocolatey so if you don't uh, let me check whether i have installed chocolatey on my machine choco yeah it's installed if you don't install you can uh, search in the google for install chocolatey it's a package repository mainly it's a third party one used for windows so you need to install it specifically it is similar to after yum for linux but after yum comes default this one we need to install separately scroll down and uh, run this command you can click on copy and run this command directly 
on your power shell you can open power shell like this right click run as administrator copy this one paste here and run that as it is already installed on my machine I will get this message actually it's uh, downloaded and ran again and you can see creating they are not already exist so as they already exist it is skipped now I need to uh, after Chaco is installed uh, uh, from the command line you can uh, run these commands chaco install dot hyphen sdk type a two s for all and for uh, IDEs we have a plethora of IDEs available for dot we can use existing uh, IDEs of Java like Eclipse IntelliJ by adding those uh, dot specific plugins the most uh, better one I prefer is WebStorm it's very simple one so instead of going and downloading the exe and double clicking and clicking on next next let's see whether any chocolatey repository is available chaco webstorm yeah it's available copy this run here just paste and click here So it got installed still installing let me open another command prompt and type where dot this shows me the location of dot sdk where it got installed Explorer space
Don't send. Just skip the remaining steps to default so that it will open. Evaluate for free. Trial version is enough at present. Evaluate. I think a community edition also should be available but Chaco directly installed this let me search outside because my VM is a bit slower As I guess it is, yeah, it's only three thirty day trial. So now let's close this and create a new project and select So I've created an empty project. 